Okay, so this is the training for annotating Crow audio files with Elan. I'm using a Mac, uh, but I think the window is generally very similar for Windows and Linux. If you have any issues with the commands, uh, just reach out to me or check the help files. So the first thing to do is to open Elan. And then you're going to open the audio file that you're going to work with. So you go to File, New. So you're going to create a new Elan file for each new audio file that you're working with. And here you go to Add Media File. And then you select in your folder the sample file that we're working with today. And then you press OK. <clears throat> You'll see this Elan window uh, here. You can drag. You don't actually need to see any of that stuff at the top, so you can just drag. You can drag here the waveform window, and then below you have the tiers. So the first thing to do here, you see it's an undefined file name, so the first thing to do is save. So we're going to save, and you're going to use the same name as if the audio file you've just opened and uh, take off the wave and this will create this will create two files this will create an EAF file which is what Elan recognizes and you can open that anytime and a PFSX file which is another extra file that Elan uses So now we can start working on this first audio file. What you see here is your first tier that's named default. We're not going to rename this yet because we don't know what kind of calls we have. So here you have the play button. This button here is to play the selection. We'll use that in a moment. And here's the zoom arrow. And you can also navigate using this slider bar here. And those are the functions you need to know. So we'll start at the beginning. If you want to position the, the, the audio play at the beginning, just press here, it'll go back to the start. And then we can play, and we're going to listen for the first crow sound. Okay, I heard one right at the beginning there, so I'm just going to go back again and play. Okay, so here's this first call here. I'm going to position the cursor, and now I'm going to zoom into that spot so I can better see the waveform. So it looks like <clears throat> it's this. <clears throat> I'll just play the selection to make sure I selected it well. That sounds good. Now you create a new annotation, new annotation here, and just press return and there's your annotation. Now this was a double call, <clears throat> so I'm going to now rename this tier. Right click change attributes of default and just type in double here change so now this is the tier for any time I hear a double call I'll put an annotation in there so let's continue there's another call I'm gonna zoom out a bit because it's a bit far so here's the second call is that it let's check it's a bit cut, so I'm going to reselect a bit larger to make sure I capture the whole call. Still cut, I'm just going to go all the way to here, make sure we have everything. Let's play the selection. Okay, that sounds good, so I'm going to put a new annotation there. Press return. There, now I have two annotations. Let's continue. Okay, that sounded like a triple call. Let's isolate that hair. Play selection. Uh, it was cut off. I'm going to just really grab around the edges there. Okay, we've got the whole call. That's a triple, so we need to create a new tier because it's not a double, right? So we're going to go up here to tier, add new tier, and I'm going to write triple, add, and close. So now you can see there's a second tier for triple. So 
Currently, the uh, selection is on the double tier. If I want to move here, I just double click. Double click, and we're now on triple. So this area here is still highlighted, so I can go new annotation here, and it'll put it onto the triple line. If I made a mistake and it turns out this is actually a double, for example, I can just drag that annotation back up. So Alt, left click, and I can drag it to the other tier. So you can also reposition it if you find that something's wrong. Um, if you want to also expand the edges of the tier, of the annotation, Alt, left click, and then you can grab that and change the edges either side. So I'll listen again to make sure this annotation is correctly positioned. Good, that's a triple, so let's continue. So this is a double now. So I'm going to cl double click back to the double line, double tier, and then annotation, new annotation here, press return. And uh, periodically I like to save because if it crashes or something happens, you'll lose your work. So every 10 seconds or so I save my work. So that sounded like a four call, a quadruple. Let's listen again. So that's a four. So what do we do? Create a new tier. Add new tier. We're going to call it four call. Quadruple is a bit hard to type, so you can just put four and close. And so we double click to go into that tier, and then we create the new annotation. <coughs> okay. Okay, there's another double. So I double click here back to double, put a new annotation here. Another double. I think it's a bit short. I accidentally cut the end of the call, so I'm just going to use this and expand it slightly. Okay, so the whole call is there. Control S. Oh, no, I think I heard a single somewhere around here. Okay, a bit larger here. Okay, so I'm going to create a new tier because I don't have a tier for single already. Single, add, and close. Navigate to single and then create a new annotation. And save. Okay, so here we have all our annotations. There are actually now uh, four different call types in this audio, and each one has been correctly annotated in the correct call type. Uh, if you find some mistakes, like I said, you can just use uh, Alt and left click to drag or expand the annotations. So then what we do now is we save, and close. And if you want to come back, if you stop this work and want to come back, you can just reopen this EAF file. And there you can see everything. If you open that and you find that this waveform is missing or there's a problem with the the linkage of the audio file, like maybe if you move, if you change the file name or move it to a different folder, you'll have to relink it. The way to do that is to go to Edit and Linked Files. And then here you can see sometimes this might be missing uh, if it's moved or changed name. So you can, you can update, you can add, remove. So if you need to find the file again, you can update it. Here's the WAV file. So you can update, all right, in this case it's the same, apply and close, all right. 
and close. And then the last step is to upload this EAF and this PFSX file uploaded back to your personal cloud. And it sh they should both have the same name as the WAV file that you've been working with. Great, thanks for your attention and let me know if you have any questions.